Yeah, first I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shim Yao Shai. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Uh, salutations to the Archim teaching the word of sincerity and truth. And blessings to the elect and the one third of Israelites scattered worldwide, predestined to be saved. Now I come with um, another lesson. I was going to do it, I think, yesterday night, but I just think I fell asleep, so I apologize for that. <coughs> um, but we know that time is short, and I remember um, I saw this uh, video, and um, you know sometimes you're on YouTube, you scroll through your videos. Now, this is a video of an Israelite woman who went to live in Africa, right? And she's into economics and finance and all that stuff, and um, she did a good video about this dollar collapsing. All right, because that's that's what's coming. The 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 dollar's going to collapse, but we're going to see what she's saying in this uh, video. And pay attention, because at the end of the day, the Bible says to be occupied in what the spirit of prophecy. All right, all right? and this place is is basically an empire that's on its knees. All right, but she gives a lot of um um. Uh, a lot of news currently what's going on in the financial markets and stuff like that and that's what you have to be into with, with this truth you can't just look we can't just be like those christians and just you know go to church and, and sing and dance and say that we're saved already that um, you know it's, it's, it's like i went to my mom's the other day and my sister was talking about the kingdom and she was saying about there's going to be no need to reappropriate and you know, oh, you know. When I was listening to, it, I just thought to myself, you know what? These people that are blinded to this truth, there's not even worth you even going over any points in the Bible. They're so lost, they don't know nothing, and that's that's why they're complacent. When if you think you're saved already, you're on easy street. Well, we'll see. All right, no one's saved yet, man. All right. So we're going to listen to what she's saying, then I'm going to pause it sometimes, I'm going to get some scriptures. All right, so let's go. Happening around the decisions that the U.S. is making. And this is dependent upon what I'm sharing, but it's interdependent, but it's America, right? And the U.S. has been doing a lot of things over our entire lifetime and is known as the biggest, you know, essentially political geopolitical bully um yep. in our history in our time as an american i can say this consciously embarrassingly of course but this is facts this is reality this is historic yep. and the challenge is sometimes living in the u.s we are taught american imperialism so we yep. don't get the full picture but I digress. I want to jump into the BRICS update and let you know exactly what is happening around the de-dollarization of the global economy. All right. So BRICS, for those that are not familiar, BRICS is an economic conglomerate comprised of were founded by five specific countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. This is the original BRICS conglomerate. Yep. BRICS is also known as BRICS Plus currently with new countries, um, a part of the system, including so many. I'm going to get into that later, but BRICS Plus essentially is a thing. And today, the BRICS GDP has surpassed the U.S. GDP, or excuse me, the G7 GDP. <laughs> and so the G7 is the economic conglomerate of the U.S., Canada, France, Germany, Italy, and the U.K., as well as the EU. Yeah. So wait, wait, what wait. So mean? pause it for a minute. The whole BRICS nations, right? So Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, their total GDP of their economies has outdone uh, America, uh, the UK, Italy, the whole G7 countries, all right? So you're looking at countries that were um, formerly very so-called weak, all right? But now they're very, very strong, okay? They're very, very strong now. And basically, she talked about the de-dollarization, all right? Meaning people are turning away 
away from the dollar. And that's not a good news for America. All right. That's not good news for them. But it's prophecy because uh, if you go to Joel, Joel chapter 3, all right. And you start at verse 9. Okay. Because all of this stuff is going to culminate into economic meltdown, which we're in the stages right now. Um, chaos, dollar collapsing, but also it's going to um, conclude into a third world war, which is in the Bible. All right. Now, now this is a part of uh, one of the prophecies of the third world war. Now, this is Joel chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye all right, this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near and let them come up. So there's going to be a state of war. And that's the reason why these countries are moving away from the dollar. And not only moving away from the dollar, they are um, spending a lot of money on arms and stuff like that. Especially with the Ukraine situation. All right. Because they, they know that they're going to be a third world war. All right. Now, we know there's going to be a third world war because it's in the scriptures. But these elites are, or the puppets of the elites, which are your prime ministers, your presidents like Joe Biden, I think, Putin. They've been told by their masters that, listen, we're going to have a third world war. Prepare for it. So that's what they're doing. OK. All right. So uh, verse 10, beat your plowshares into swords. And a plowshare is something, you know, it's like a tool. That, you know, you, you know, you're there in the field and you're plowing the field. So instead of that, all right, turn it into a sword and, and your pruning hooks into spears. All right. Basically, get ready for war. And then it says, what? Let the weak say I'm strong. And that's talking about the weak nations. All right. People like Iran was a weak nation at one point. Russia was a weak nation. At one point, South Africa was a weak nation, but right now, South Africa is has um, uh, um, their military. They're bolstering their military up. Oh, Ethiopia, all right, which is named in um, Ezekiel thirty-eight as one of the countries that is going to be with Russia and and Iran and other countries in a coalition against America. Um, Turkey has um, been doing deals to ramp up their army and to buy weapons. And they've needed it because they've had a, a, you know, a war over there. Okay. So that's showing you that the weak nations now are strong. Why is Iran strong? Because they've got nuclear weapons. Why hasn't America gone into Iran? Because they've got nuclear weapons. Why haven't America stepped foot in North Korea? Why? Because they've got nuclear weapons. All right. So the weak nations are now strong, man. So that's prophetic in itself. So let's go back. Let's let's go back. All right. And listen to more of what she's got to say. Oh, we'll come back more. All right. What does this mean when the GDP surpasses this powerhouse known as the G7? Well, this is a huge shift in the global change that is taking place. Yep. And so... Obviously, the G7 trades and operates in U.S. dollars, as have most of the world, uh, as has most of the world for the last, you know, 60 years since World War II. And that has that has stopped and it has been happening for the last few years. Um, China is now known as the most powerful economy in the world, right? Whether or not they're sharing that information and they have created their own digital currency. They have created it. And this digital currency is the currency that the BRICS conglomerate is looking to adopt. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this, but how are they doing this, right? So as the first country creating this digital currency, um, it is allowing them and has allowed them to trade commodities um, without using the dollar. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's Richard here. In this video, you what you I'm said, going to show you how to start or even scale your existing said about property business without the dollar. See? Commodity. So they they like the dollar was the world reserve is the world reserve currency, right? So 
you know, you know, literally in every country, you can go to a bureau. Uh, in Europe, they call it the bureau de change. All right, which is just a c- currency exchange, and people get dollars. All right, because it's inter- it's the world reserve currency. People are are um, circumventing that now, and when it's talked about uh, a digital currency, central, all of these countries are trying to do that. All of them are, are doing that, and you know why? Because that go- that's going to lead up, all right, to major Bible prophecy. So let's get it. All right. So yeah, they they are avoiding the dollar. They are avoiding the dollar, and the dollar's value is just plummeting. It's just a piece of paper. There's no gold or silver to back it up. You know, all of that was done away with years ago, man. I can't remember where well, which president was. They made a decree, and everyone in America had to give in their gold. You know, and they say, oh, it's uh, we, we stored the gold in Fort was it Fort Texas or Fort Knox, Texas or whatever. All that gold was given to the Rothschilds, man. You know, these wicked banking elites. And gold and silver is real money. All right? We just have paper notes. If the government says these paper notes cease to exist, all right, and you can't tender with it, you can't give it in, then it stops. In Nigeria, they did that recently. They said they're bringing out new banknotes, all right, new Naira, that's their currencies in Naira, and they didn't produce enough banknotes, and people were going crazy, and they gave them a limit of how much they can take out from their bank. So people could have had a hundred billion Naira in there, thousands of pounds in their bank, and they couldn't take it out. People were going crazy, you know, you know, going mad. All right, that's what's coming, man. But all this digital currency and this that is leading to this. All right, Revelations 13 and 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free or bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. All right, what does that sound like? That sounds, that sounds like the RFID chip. All right, that's the mark, man. All right, so that's going to be the new currency. Okay, so really, these nations, including America... The people behind closed doors, they want the, the dollar to collapse. They're doing everything to make the dollar collapse so they can bring this in. They want total control over human beings, you know, total. So they want you to, uh, all right, you know, okay, all hell's going to break loose when the dollar collapses. Someone might have 30 million in their bank account. They'll say, well, if you want to have access to your bank account, this is the new, uh, what's it called? This is the new currency. And it's going to be the RFID chip, man. Okay? In your right hand or in your foreheads. All right? And when it says foreheads, we've, we've heard about all this um, Neuralink and them trying to uh, put microchips in people's brains. And, they, and they're, they're trying to say it's in the name of science and progress. That's bullshit, man. All right? These people have never been interested in saving human life. All right. America and the society that America is should show you that, man. The fact that anyone is homeless in America is an embarrassment. All right. No one is envying your democracy over there in America. America is a big joke, especially over here in Europe, man. All right. Verse 17, that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay. Mm. So verse 18 So here is wisdom Let him that have understanding Count the number of the beast And its number of It's a number of a man And his number is 600 Free score and 6 So 600 free score Which is uh, free score is 20 times 3 Which is 6 So that is 666 So that's his number Remember Jay-Z did that stupid song uh, and it showed that when you rewinded it back backwards, it, it, it said 666, murder, murder, Jesus. You see, that's, that's their goal. So a part of all this um, digital currency is to have total control of a human being. All right. 
So you, you, you ain't go, you, you ain't supposed to take that. Any one of our people that take that, all right, you ain't gonna make it. The Lord is not, the Lord is not gonna be with you. All right, let's prove that. Mm, uh, uh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's the wrong one. So you have to understand that. Look, time we're in now. All right. Is building up your faith time, man. You know? This is not time to play games or whatever. Alright? There's not no time for that, man. Okay? And anyone that takes it, your place in the book of uh, life is, is just... It's just finished, you know? Just kill yourself, man. Alright? Uh, let's see. Uh, it's that Revelations what fourteen and nine, and the third angel followed, saying with a loud voice, "Any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand." All right. So if you take it, all right. Verse ten: the same shall drink the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out. Without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Indignation means righteous anger. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. In the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. So when uh, Yahushua comes back with the angels. He's going to beam his elect up. Lord willing. I'm one of them. And one third of our people. And then the ones that take this mark. Alright. When those nuclear missiles are shot on America. And other parts of the world. You're, you're going to burn it. We're with it because you've put your trust in the government system rather than the Lord system. Okay? That's what faith is about. And we're all going to be tested. All right? People could be making videos like this, this, that, and the other, and say this and that. And when the time comes, to just shit their pants and take it, man. But it's the Lord. The, the Lord will put a spirit on you to not take it, to, to withstand it. That's the only way. That's the only way we're going to get through any of this. Commodities. You know? Um, without using the dollar. <laughs> it's been happening. Yep. Um, it's literally been happening. I even saw here in, in Africa, in the continent, Tanzania and I think India are trading with their local currencies in the rupees and the Tanzanian shilling. Beautiful. And so it begins. Now... The de-dollarization has already happened as well in Russia when the U.S. placed sanctions on Russia, yep. removing them from the SWIFT system, requiring Russia to operate in its own currency. And they are still doing that. Like, they've been trading, they've been operating yep. um, in commerce and things. Their economy hasn't stagnated. It yep. had a drop, of course, just with a lot of the political, geopolitical drama. Mm. But essentially, Russia's economy is still operating. It is still, you know, it is still a part of this GDP um, of the BRICS economy that has, has surpassed the G7 economy. And it's a huge leader in that economy. There you go. All there right. You go. And so what additionally does this look like? Well, Countries tend to adopt and receive U.S. aid. It comes with countries now saying, hey, <laughs> not only are we not going to trade in U.S. dollars, but yep. we're not going to accept aid in U.S. dollars. And That's it. aid, foreign aid, has always been an opportunity for a foreign country to come in and say, we're going to give you this for this. Essentially, a quid pro quo. Yep. And the U.S. has been doing this for years, thus allowing it to have certain relationship dynamics and receiving minerals and resources from said countries. That's right. See, that, see that scam of foreign aid, like Britain has cut, cut its foreign aid budget, right? And in Parliament, they were talking about it and saying, oh, this is terrible for developed countries. First of all, when they say we, they give you foreign aid, they give it. They give a country, say Uganda, you. They give a um, foreign aid because they're trying to push that um, stuff, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, in Uganda. And um, the most of the people in Uganda, a lot of them are Israelites and stuff. And you know, we're not down with all that stuff, you know. And then one of the guys said in the UK. 
that you know um you know well we're gonna not give them aid or whatever and i think the the the, the president just laughed it off see none of these nations are scared of them no more they're weak like it says in joel chapter chapter three they're weak now man and, they, and when they give you foreign aid that means all right we're going to give you foreign aid all right, and we're going to give you some food as well. Oh, oh, yeah, we're going to give you some inoculations, this, that, and the other. But in return, you have to give them access to some land so they can build a military base or um, uh, mining rights to get the cobalt or the zinc. It comes with strings attached. They're not just going to give people foreign aid for nothing. Okay, so that's that's just another scam. And that scam is over, man. I'm going to link a few podcasts um, and interviews below so that you can also get information on what I'm sharing um, because this is just not me coming and sharing this information. Yep. This is me doing my research from global analysts, um, global economists, U.S. economists that are like former U.S. government um, yep. leaders that are sitting back looking and saying, what have we done? Good. So if this is helpful and this is resonating, stay tuned and like this video. Share it with someone else who would find value in it as well. That's it. So now let's talk about these new countries with interest, right? Okay. So one of the biggest news breakers a couple weeks ago was that Mexico was showing interest in joining the BRICS conglomerate, the BRICS alliance. Yep. Mexico is considering breaking their CUMA agreement, which is the Canada-USA-Mexico agreement because yep. of the decline in diplomatic trust between the U.S. and Mexico. If you're in the U.S., I'm sure you feel this tension and the tension that has been happening over the wall, over the borders, yeah. over the separation of children and family, um, you know, over the the media frenzy, the conspiracy theories, the just the, the chaos that has been happening between the U.S. and Mexico over yeah. the last few years. And Mexico has expressed a huge interest. Other countries... Looking at the BRICS conglomerate include Jamaica, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Panama, Bolivia, Chile, <laughs> Cuba, Ecuador, Peru, Uruguay, Venezuela, Mongolia, Pakistan, Uzbekistan, yep. Sri Lanka, and the list goes on and on and on and on. That's beautiful, see? That's that's beautiful. And that's the Lord doing that, man. He's turning See, these nations, they're not scared of them no more, man. You know? And, and, and your democracy is not the envy of the world. We, we look at your democracy. What about your January whatever happened, you know? With, with, with all those uh, Donald Trump supporters. So everyone should look at your democracy? No way, man. All right? See, this is the downfall. Uh, the Lord's bringing them down. Isaiah 14 and 3. And it shall come to pass in, in the day... That the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. And right and we need that rest, man. And from thy fear and for from the hard bondage wherein thou hast made to serve. Yeah, man. We can't rest until we're in the kingdom. Verse four. Thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. And it's talking about America. America's called Babylon the Great. Alright, and who runs it? The Edomites do. And say, how has the oppressor ceased and the, and the golden city ceased? Yeah, people are going to be like, hang on, what's, what's, what's going on with America? He used to go around and bomb nations and, you know, Donald Trump used to come out, his, come out and with that stupid song, proud to be an American, you know, you know, that's how proud they are, man. I remember when I was a kid, Hulk Hogan come out. I'm a real American. Fight for the rights of every man. All that, that's all bullshit, man. People can see through that. See, the Lord has opened people's eyes and, and, and everyone's turning against you. All right, verse 5, Isaiah 14, 5. The Lord have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. See, your rulership is coming to an end and the Lord's doing it. No one else. All right. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. Has not America done that? Go into countries. The whole of the um, uh, uh, South and Central America, 
most of the times that you've had upheaval, look at the Panama um, stuff with Noriega. America went in there and they destroyed the place, man. They killed civilians, they did martial law, this, that. Anytime over there, the Northern Kingdom, all right, whether it be Venezuela or anyone else, has had a decent prime minister or president that really wants to help the people, like Chavez, you know, Chavez came in, I'm not saying it was perfect, but he made sure that, you know, the oil stayed in Venezuela, this, that, and the other. And on his first uh, uh, week or something like that, in position, there was a coup to try and get him out. He was held at gunpoint. And who was in charge of that coup? It was the American intelligence agencies. Because before, Venezuela used to sell their oil cheaply to America. Chavez came in, he put a stop to that. You know? And then a few years later, all of a sudden, he has cancer and dies. See, they've, they've been doing that because they know that you uh, so-called Latinos, Native Americans, they know that you're Israelites, man. Okay? And they've been doing the same thing in West Africa, taking out decent leaders, getting other wicked, selfish Israelites, you know, to do their bidding. Okay? So he who smoked the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger, that's America, man, is persecuted and none hindereth. See, those days, the Lord has put those days to an end. See, the whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. So when, when that dustbin, that, that, that dustbin America is, is nuked and destroyed, all right, we're, we're, we're going to be celebrating, man. You know, a uh, uh, toast to the most high. Everyone's going to be celebrating, man. You know, they ain't got nothing to say about um, them Palestinians getting slaughtered every day. You know, but they believe in their democracy. See, so the Lord is bringing them down. And, and, and uh, really, if you look at it, America's finished already. And even people know that. The only ones that don't know that in America is, is the zombies. And most of them are zombies. But even, um, what's his name? Oh, what's that? Oh, Dick Gregory, before he died. He was in an interview. And they were talking about America. And he goes, and the guy goes, where does America go from here? Dick Gregory, before he died, he goes, it doesn't go anywhere. It's over. America's finished. All right? America's going to fall. It's over. In the way he said it, it made me laugh, but it's true. Uh, I, Isaiah... Uh, 10, 14 and 10 uh, and all they shall speak and say unto thee art thou also become as weak as we see so all the other countries that used to rule over they're turning away from you turn away from your dollar and they're saying are you as weak as we art thou become unto like us unto us see they're getting weaker. That verse 11. Thy pomp is brought down to the grave and thy noise of thy vows. The worm is spread under thee. And that worm is your decay, your debt, man. That place is just rotting from the inside out. And the worms cover thee. How art thou, verse 12, how art thou fallen from heaven? O Lucifer, son of the morning. And the word Lucifer just means light bearer. And that's what these so-called Illuminati, they think they are. That's why they call themselves Illuminati, because they think that they've earned God's status because of their illuminated minds. But they're just degenerates, man. See, they, they have a secret society, right? But that shows you how weak they are. We men of the Lord, all right, the elect, Lord William, we're one of them, we're out there boldly proclaiming the truth. You know, what's and all. Anyone could question us. But these, 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 these scum that are thinking they're ruling the world that the Lord has put in place. Remember um, Job 9.24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The Lord gave them the, the, the earth, man. And it's a good example to, to show us this is how not to rule. But they think they're so-called illuminated and light bearers. What, by uh, 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 eating feces behind closed doors? Look what R. Kelly was doing to the women. Many of them said that he would make them eat his own, his own feces, his shit. 
And most of these Satanists, that's what they have to do behind closed doors. But they think they're, they're illuminated. Yeah, you're illuminated in wickedness. All right. So the word Lucifer just means light bearer. That's all. All right. Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which thou weaken the nations? See, so all these nations are moving away from America. Why? Because they've weakened them. You can't, look, you can't um, uh, uh, tell nations to do this and to do that, you know, and, and, and think you're going to get away with it constantly, man. These nations have got the same weapons that you have now. Okay. The countries that are expressing interest, this is huge, right? Because these are countries that express interest. And while there is a full process and onboarding yep. that happens for countries to actually express interest, apply and be onboarded, mm -hmm. the list is growing. And the countries that are in that process yep. are doing so. Why? Because they have valuable resources and minerals, specifically commodities yep. that, can, can be, that can be contributed into this global eco economic system. Yep. And monitored through a ledger that creates a level of transparency and global global integration, global support, also known as the blockchain. Hey, you see that? Hey, hey, this if you want to make a full time income from home while she's part um, time, you need to know this hey, one you concept have, because you have to say she knows her stuff, and it's nice to it's nice to get information like this. From one of your own people, man. You know, it's it's nice to see that. Do so you get know what I mean? But the main, the main, the the main point is everyone is moving away from that dustbin called America, man. All right. But what is gonna come is the the, the third world war, and that's that's the reason why there's austerity everywhere. These nations around the world. It ain't just the fact that, oh, we haven't got money, this, that, and the other. They've got money. They're just using, um, you know, the w what's happened with the war in Ukraine and other things like the pandemic as excuses. But they're mainly preparing for this. All right? They're mainly doing that, man. They're mainly preparing uh, for this third world war. All right? This is Joel chapter 3, verse 11. Assemble yourselves, come ye. Come all ye heathen, all right? Because the, the main countries in World War One and World War Two were heathen nations, okay? They were fighting each other, you know, all right? And gather yourselves together round about, all right? Him have caused thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord, all right? Verse 12, let the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. And that's going to be in that area where you have Syria, near the Euphrates River, Syria, Iraq. That's that uh, area, the Valley of Joseph. That's where the Third World War is mainly going to be. But like all wars, like World War I or World War II, it will be global. But that's the main place it's going to be. For there I will sit to judge all the heathen round about. So the Lord is going to make them fight each other and destroy each other. And that's God's way of judging them for what they've done to us. All right, put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full. The fats are overflow, for their wickedness is great. And these heathen nations, their wickedness is great, man. Every one of these heathen nations is wicked, man. You know, over there in Afghanistan, they have a, there's a documentary called Dancing Boys of Afghanistan. Uh, it was years ago it came on, about seven years ago, and it's absolutely disgusting, man. There's some tribal elders that get, uh, uh, they get young boys to dress like women, all right, and do like, you know, like the Arabian kind of dancing, like, you know, you know, like when you see the woman shaking, but it's a boy, man, and then they choose which boy, and they actually sleep with them. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It's called The Dancing Boys of Afghanistan. All right, you can look it on YouTube, and it's absolutely disgusting. You know, I'm not saying everyone in that, in that country does that, but that's just a small example of how wicked these heathens are and how the wicked have been to our people. So that's how the Lord's going to judge them. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision for the day 
of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. So the Lord is going to judge all these nations that put holy hell on us, you know, and that's good. But as you can see, like what that sister says, America's finished. It's going down, man. All right. To totally gone. Totally going down. And um, her, 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 her channel is, is, is actually quite good. All right. You know? So, you know, um, their structural changes are essentially desirable so you can see, now, right? Nobody wants to work with the... I press it. You can see her, her on the screen. Her, her screen, her channel is um, Ashley in Africa. You can see it on the screen down here. All right. Ashley in Africa. All right. So subscribe to it because she's got some good videos. Uh, and... Um, you're, you're, in this truth, you got to look at everything. you got to look at the financial markets, you know. But she's an economist and she's a, a Judite, you know. You know. Smart, intelligent. And thank God she's not, her face is not plastered with loads of makeup, man. You know. See, look, love, motherhood and entrepreneurship in Africa. You know. So we have to respect. You know, our, our people that are doing things like that. But at the end of the day, our main focus is this truth. And as you can see from what she said, the dollar is going to be is gonna be in history, man. All right? So that's when we have to um, take this truth seriously. If you ain't taking the truth seriously now, <laughs> you know, I don't know what you're waiting for. Because believe me. This year has not ended yet, and believe me, this year is going to be a year that you'll never forget, man. All right? So I'm going to leave it at that. I give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Double honors to the Apostle Elders, Great Millstone, the Ruel. Salutations to the Hakim, teaching the word of Syrian truth, and blessings to the elect and the one third of Israelites scattered worldwide, predestined to be saved. Stay strong, stay in the Lord, shalom.